Tiny Gamer here, and after so long, after, well, let's see on the banner here, yeah, after probably like around 12 days, I finally did it. I got all her discs, I leveled up basically everything, um, at least up until I ran out of stamina, of course, and I finally got Shui Yun fully built. Yep, there it is, right there. So, uh, well, you already saw the title of the video, so let's just not wait any longer. Uh, let's just go over it. So here is my Shui Yun showcase. And, of course, we're gonna be starting off with my Shui Yun build. So here is my Shui Yun build. I forgot to mention that this video will probably be uploaded after her banner ends. So basically, it'll be 1.1 at this point. But I still want to get this video out anyway because I did promise that I was going to make a Shuyun showcase video. So, well, here you guys go. So, anyways, um, here is my Shuyun, um build. As you see here, we have crit rate crit damage up the wazoo. That is because she is a main DPS in this game. So, of course, you want to give her crit rate crit damage so she can do as much damage as possible. Um, by the way, I am not at Internaut level uh, 50 yet, so I cannot promote her yet. Yeah, I, I still don't have Legendary Proxy yet. So that means that all of her stuff is basically kind of locked out. And you'll see what I mean here. So in skills right here, um, I have her core at, well, as you see here, level 4 core. So, um, well, I think it's in this game, uh, level 1 is not upgrading it. So yeah, it's it's level five. It's it's a level five core. So I have her at level five core. Um, I can't get her to uh, level six yet because of course I I don't have her at level fifty five because I am not a legendary proxy yet. So this is the best I could do. But um, I'm pretty sure uh, I could still uh, showcase it just like at the Ellen showcase uh, where uh, I don't have everything maxed out and I could still show her max potential so i think this won't be a as big of a factor so yeah um as for talents i have everything at level eight um this is the best i can get it with because well uh, i'll show you in a second i don't have mats so yeah um the best i could do is level eight as of now because i'm still trying to build everyone for shiyu defense because I need to get the, um, on that and I need to finish that fast. So at least I can have a uh, 1.0 Shiyu defense video up and ready. So yeah, um, this is the best I can work with as of now. And as for equipment here, I have her full disc set. So um, I have, of course, four piece chaotic metal and I have woodpecker electro with her, of course, her W engine, as you see there. You see there, there's the PubSec W engine. Um, so yeah, um, this is my build right here. Uh, four piece chaotic metal, which is her best disc set. And Woodpecker Electro, of course, for the off piece two, uh, two piece set for a uh, crit rate boost so that she's able to do more crit damage. So yeah, that's basically my uh, Shuyun build. So now it's time to actually take her into gameplay. And luckily enough, I do have the final uh, stage unlocked in Hollow Zero. So I'll just take her to uh, that stage. So without any further ado, let's just go to Hollow Zero and showcase her. All right, so here we are at Hollow Zero. Um, of course, uh, I did say I did unlock the final stage. So we're going to go to the Withering Garden. Um, I won't be activating all the, buff all the uh, buffs here for uh, Withering Garden. And that's because, well... This boss is extremely hard if I have all of these on, and this is just a showcase video, so I just want her to basically uh, pop off because it's a showcase. I have to show her in her best light. So I'm just going to be going for a normal no ether activity um, run. Um, of course, I'm going to be putting Shuyun in the front because we need to. Um, and I'm going to be manipulating these squad members here so they come in order. So I'm going to be going Lycon. And then for the third member, we can just put uh, Nicole um, for her uh, support capabilities for um, Shuyan. Um, of course, I'm going to be going with uh, Rizona Boo, which is uh, her best Bang Boo. Um, as for another squad member, I guess we could put Ambi. 
Yeah, we can put Ambi just in case we don't get Lycon. So yeah. Um, well, anyways, this is going to be the team we're going to be rocking. So without any further ado, let's just get to it. All right. So, um... I'm probably going to be doing some battles here or there. I'm probably not going to go out of my way to do them. But, um, if I do have the opportunity to do them because of, well, like, Rizonia boost where I have to, uh, do two battles to get the buff, then I probably will do that. Um, I'm going to be going for this one because we're probably going to get, um, overload charged anyway. Of course, we're going to be choosing the Aether Rizonia because that's just going to be helping her out. Um, perfect! We want this. Uh, ether damage bonus. Really, really nice. Alright. So, I'm gonna be going for, uh, this because we're- we're not gonna be using gear coins that much. So we're gonna be doing, uh, gear coins and then everything is expensive. Alright. Alright, so, we can just go here to get a lot of rewards. Um... I think, yeah, the finish line is over here. So we can just go there to uh, stop by. Uh, yeah, let's just uh, go here. here. Yeah. Alright, Ellen's going to be our first support. So we're going to be putting her in position two. So we have two DPSs on the team, which is really, really awkward. Sure. Uh, okay, we're going to be going to our first battle so we can at least get some Rizonia. So let's just do it. And besides, we do have a healing station um, on the top. As well as uh, to our right side of the uh, TV screens. So I think we should be fine here. Alright, let's go. First, Shui Yun gameplay. So, um, I'm probably not going to be doing as much uh, gunshots. Because, well, look at it. She has no energy on her. <laughs> she has no energy right now. So I can't really um, take advantage of her um, ether shots just yet. I'm probably gonna take out the first wave and then probably use Shoyun on the second wave. Alright, that's the first wave. Okay, now we can actually use her. Yeah, but look at that! Damage! Holy crap! She does extreme damage. Alright, we got her... Oh, never mind. I guess we don't have to pull out her skill. But, uh... Her skill, um, her special, um, gives her three... Uh, bullets back her specifically her EX special she gets three bullets back if you do a normal attack She gets one bullet back and I think if you do another follow-up on that she gets another bullet back So there's a lot of ways to get bullets back like chains chains give her bullets assists give her bullets But her all her gameplay is based around her bullets and her charge attack. So um, that's what I'm I'm trying to say um, We don't have Nicole so we can't just do this one um, but I think Okay, I think we're gonna have to take the pressure here. Because, like, there, there's nothing we can do. Yeah, let's just take the pressure. Alright. Right here, we get a Bang Boo of our choice. Um, We're gonna take Magnet Boo because he actually um, gathers the enemies, which is pretty nice. Okay, let's go to the random room. Let's see what we get. We might get lucky here. Who knows? Alright. Relief fatigue as well as some other things. Okay, so we could do got unknown stuff. Okay, we get to heal. Gear coins, heal. Nice. Alright. That's a pretty good floor. I will take that. But usually some of the random floors are really, really bad. <laughs> so uh, thankfully we got a good one. Um, Just go here. Choose a Rizonium. Alright, now this is where I actually do have to do battles. Um, stun duration, anomaly buildup. Um, I think. I think we gotta go for the crit damage. Yeah, we're gonna be going for the crit damage. Because the boss doesn't get stunned that much, so it doesn't really matter if we increase the stun duration. Um, yeah, we're not gonna be exchanging any chop. We're gonna keep that there. We're gonna be taking all of these. And then go here. Yeah, there we go. Optimization, baby. Alright, we're gonna be fighting the tough boss here. Um, after this, we will get a Rizonia, which is pretty nice. But that means we have to kind of try hard in this. So, hopefully, um, hopefully we don't get that screwed. Alright. 
Nice dodge. All right, now time to do the combo. So there is a combo you can do with her, um, which I will showcase. Um, actually, let me kill one of them real quick. I'm probably going to be killing this one, so I'm just going to be doing the Ellen combo. The double E Ellen combo. Ow, that hurts! That hurts a lot! That did like, uh... That did a thousand damage. Yikes. Alright, I think we're good. Alright, now I can do the combo. Hopefully. So, um, it is... Charge, 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 uh, and then charge. And then you roll. And then she does another three bullets. That is her main combo right there. And it's the combo you'll be using a lot. So, uh, get used to that, actually. Okay. We're gonna be doing E for Ellen. So that we're able to do chain with, uh... Shuyin. So, there we go! Nice! Nice! Alright. I'll take that. Hopefully we get a good Arizonium, maybe. Shield, agents, deal 20%, dealing ether, we're taking the ether to get a fusion. Alright, nice, nice, nice. Alright, we're gonna be taking these. Uh, launching EX, that's for freeze. We're taking the ether one. The ether one is gonna help us a lot here. Alright, uh, anomaly build up. No, we're taking the ether damage. That is just a flat boost. We will take that. Uh, ether anomaly build up dealing ether damage grants one stack. Um, ether anomaly build up. Uh, we'll take the flat boost for ether anomaly build up. Alright. Let's see what this has. Gear coins? Okay. Um, we're gonna be taking the heal, and then we're just gonna be getting out of here. Alright. What a great first floor, actually. Holy crap. We actually kinda got lucky. Uh, we didn't get, uh, a single, uh, corruption that floor. Alright, now since this is a floor boss, we're gonna do have to try hard here. Hopefully they- oh no, it's the guy who teleports a lot! He is extremely annoying. Alright, we're at full bullets here, so we can just- Okay, we're gonna be abusing Ellen's, um, Ellen's stun. Because Ellen actually has good stun on her uh, defensive assist. Unless, uh, he loves to teleport a lot. In this case, um, I guess not. But yeah, as you see there, she does a lot of stun. Like, actually, we can't just go for it. Actually, let's do this. All right, I guess that didn't count. All right. Yeah, but this guy is, ex is extremely annoying. Because he just loves to teleport a lot. Which means that uh, you won't catch him a lot of the time. All right. Okay, buddy. Stop teleporting. This is where it ends here. One, two. One, two, three. Roll. One, two, three. E, Q. You get all your, all your bullets back, and then you do the same thing. So, one, two, one, two, three, the roll, and then do the same thing. Yeah, so that is uh, basically Shreyan's uh, combo route, if you guys didn't know. Um, pretty basic, really. Alright, we're gonna have to take out this big guy right here. This big uh, ethereal. Oh, no, I didn't dodge that. Actually, though, no, I couldn't dodge that because I was in animation lock. Alright. Let's get some bullets in. Okay, she's at max bullets. Pretty nice. Um, the only reason why um, I have Ellen in the front is because I'm not going to use her a lot. Because, uh, well, there's going to be a lot of supports I can use in um, this uh, in this Hollow Zero run. And Ellen is not going to be one of them. Ellen's just going to be there to take hits for me. Alright. Okay, we do have a ton of energy, so might as well go for the Shark Nami to hit him. And do another Tail Swipe into normal attack. He's going to be mostly done for in a moment here. There we go. Luckily, Ellen's, um, 
Ellen's charge attack uh, automatically targets an enemy, which is nice. And let's just finish him off. There we go. Nice! Nice. Alright. We will take that. And I'm pretty sure we're going to be getting the um, the buff here. I, I hope so. Uh, let's confirm. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, we did two battles, so now our crit damage is increased. Pretty nice. Alright. Um, deal 30% more damage to corrupted enemies. Um, we're gonna be going for chain to uh, increase decibels because uh, Shuiyun's ultimate actually hits pretty hard. So it's pretty nice if we do get that. Alright, um, so we can't take a Rizonia or a Concentrated Medicine. Um, we're gonna be taking the Concentrated Medicine. Um, you know what? Screw it. We can um, just pay our gear coins because why not? Alright. Alright, let's collect our spoils here. Uh, choose a uh, Rizonium. Um, two combats, 100%. Okay, this is a really good one because um, it means that we don't get pressure on the next few floors. And by floors, I mean floor three, which means that we won't get affected by stun or by, uh, well, uh, pressure, which means that we don't get any corruptions, which is pretty nice. Um, I'm going to be taking over here the uh, corruption because there is a, there is a, uh, a cleanser in the right side on the uh, S rank thing. As you see there, there's a cleanser. So we can't just take that corruption. Okay, let's see what we get here. Uh, let's see what the Rizonia is. Okay, I'll take that. Um, I'm gonna be de depositing gear coins again. We don't need gear coins for this run because we can't just battle enemies to get all of our stuff. All right, let's see what we can get here, though. Gain pressure. Okay, never mind. I would take that if I didn't go for that. So yeah. Um. Well, big rip. Uh. Okay, let's see who comes on the phone. All right, Lycon. I will take him. He's going to be going to position two. All right. Uh. Okay. Go do this way, so we can get a bunch of our uh, rewards here. Gear coins, merits, and then a uh, cleanser. Remove that corruption. There we go. Now we're at zero. All right, let's uh, heal. That's going to be uh, pretty good. I guess we can't just take the heal from the shop too. Why not? Let's go for that. We do have a ton of uh, points on our um, shop thing. So yeah, we can't just take these. It's basically free. All right, we're going here. Maybe we're gonna be triggering the Ellen. Oh, never mind. We take the uh, Shui Yun um event. All You're right, from nice. special response, right? Thanks for scouting and patrolling the area. All right, Officer nice. Officer Yun from the criminal investigation team. It's a pleasure to meet you. All right. <laughs> How could we refuse? Um, this will basically give us a uh, mindscape. Uh, cinema buff. Um, Thank which is you pretty for your nice. help. We can continue on our own from here. A bunch of ammo. Yeah, there you go. As you see, there has evoked the mindscape quick reload. Officer Ju Yun, which direction are you planning to explore next? All right. Uh, good thing I asked. We recently placed traps in those areas to hinder ethereals. I'll mark the locations for you. Understood. We'll steer clear of the marked traps. Thanks for the heads up. Just happy to help, Officer Juyun. Hope we'll see you in our branch sometime. All right, let's move on. We wouldn't want to put their efforts to waste. All right, there you go. So, um, I did stay silent because there is dialogue when um that happens in Hollow Zero. There are events that happen in Hollow Zero, um, which is pretty cool. Um. Now we can just go because we don't have that much to do here. Yeah, but now... Yeah, now traps don't do anything! 
So that is pretty nice. Um, okay, we're gonna be going uh, to the battle because we need to get rid of that um, that annoying debuff that we have. Uh, yeah, of course we're gonna be replacing the squad member. Um, replace Ellen. Ellen's gonna give us a special Rizonia. There you go. Pretty nice. All right, now we got a supporter in the team. Um, Sokaku is a great substitute, by the way, for Nicole. Because Sokaku can uh, buff attack for party members um, if she does her special, which is pretty nice. So that means she is able to benefit uh, Shoyun, uh, which is uh, pretty good because, well, again, uh, DPSs just need attack. Um, pretty nice. All right, we're going to be doing Lycon shenanigans, of course. Why wouldn't we? All right, switch. Since they are gathered up, we, we can just do a charge attack. Nice. Do E. We can just switch to Lycon here. Okay. Nice, nice. Alright. I had to stop there for a minute because I, I need to see if it was able to. Um, if I was able to do a, a stun. But there we go. Uh, made quick work, even though I did use Lycon a lot. Lycon's just way too good, man. He, he's like the best. He's like one of the best characters in the game. You could literally put him on any team and, and he just becomes a monster. So yeah. Um, yes. Yes, we do need that. All right. Ooh. Yeah, we're going up here. Uh... Yeah, we have enough coins, so I might as well buy a, a box. Um, again... Okay, we got we just got 100 gear coins back. Okay, we're gonna leave. Alright. Those floors are non-factors now. Um... I think we should get rid of the buff. Yeah, let's just go fight another enemy. Yeah, we're gonna be giving the debuff, so now we basically have zero pressure every time we uh, discover a location, which is uh, pretty good. Alright. Let's finish this! Alright, we have the uh, flying enemies, these annoying things that love to uh, to uh, shoot a lot of stuff. Uh, they love to shoot, and they love to use their stingers. Yeah, I think- I mean, I guess they're just ether bees. But, holy crap, they are annoying. Alright, there we go. Alright. Made quick work of those. Uh, Shoyun is actually really good on AoE scenarios. The only problem is that you're going to be eating up your ammo really fast. But luckily, in this game, you can use um, your ammo without worrying because at least you get 6 back. Yeah, you get 6 back every time you do a new um, run. Which is pretty nice. I wouldn't say the same for a uh, Shiyu defense though. A uh, Shiyu defense is way different than a uh, Hollow Zero, so you have to watch out for your ammo conserves because you have to use one team and then you have to use another team. So yeah, it's just a it's just a literal like jump through uh, things. All right, we're gonna be doing two uh, banner attacks so that we're able to get um, increase. All right. Oh, well, I missed that. Alright, I think we can't just spam this. This is the last enemy. Yeah. Nice! Yeah, but, uh, well, I can't- I can't really say much more other than Shuyun is just way too broken. You saw the damage. You saw how she works. She's just- she's really good. Um, even without Nicole, I was still able to do a bunch of damage and able to crowd control. Even her chains are pretty good. You saw the chains. I mean, they do a bunch of AoE damage. So, yeah. Uh, anomaly proficiency. I'll take the crit damage. Because we're probably going to be triggering um, some perfect assists anyway. Um, do we still have that debuff on? We do. Okay, so that means we have to fight. Yeah, we have to fight. Okay, we're going to be reducing the pressure so that we don't die. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay. Another battle. Um, this is a red alert battle or a red enemy battle, meaning that it's going to be tougher. So, um, it's going to at least give us some challenge, but 
I'm pretty sure we'll be fine here. We have crowd controllers on our team. Let's do Shoyun. Yeah, look at that chain attack. Don't tell me that's not broken. And with Rezonabu. Rezonabu? Rezonabu is broken. Because he's able to uh, gather up a lot of enemies for free, by the way. Alright. We're gonna be dealing with this annoying dude because he loves to just attack and teleport a lot. He's just really annoying. So let's just do that. Alright, we're gonna be doing two um, banners into Kablam, into Sokaku. Sokaku's thing lasts a long time, so we can't just do a free switch right there. And since uh, she is a support, um, Sokaku is a support, we're able to get the quick assist in, which is pretty nice. Alright. He is close to getting stunned. Right there, now we can do Sokaku. Let's do Lycon into... Kablam! There we go. Pretty nice. And then finish it off with a shotgun blast. Yeah. Should we un she unbroke broken? She unbroken? Um... I can't really say more than that. I mean, you saw her in the tough battles right there. And we're gonna be diving into another one. Um... Press dodge to immediately break free. Corruption lasts two seconds longer. Corruption is pretty good. Uh... Sure, why not? Alright, let's continue. We are basically close to uh, floor 3. Floor 3 is not going to pose a challenge since we do have that pressure 100% thing on our uh, person. So, it won't be that bad. Okay, I think this is the this is the floor where you fight the robots. Yeah, yikes! I hate these things too. Because they look- look at their daze meter. It's not- it's like barely going down. <laughs> okay. Alright, that's guaranteed. Okay, let's just do a double E. Luckily, Sokaku, the- the GOAT of all time, um, is, uh, the GOAT, the greatest of all time, all time, um, is extremely good. So she de doesn't get interruption resistant, or she gets interruption resistance when she does her E, which is uh, really good because we need that. All right, now we can focus on the big guy because um, if we do if we do do damage to the small robot, uh, he will just get stunned anyway. All right, we can just do Sokaku. Uh, let's do this. Let's do that. Let's do Rezona Boo so we can quickly switch to Shuyun. Let's do Burst. We can finally use it. And there we go. Look at that damage. One, two. One, two, three. Roll. One, two, three. E. And then you are basically back to full again. So now you do one, two. One, two, three. Roll. One, uh, one two, three. But well, I got hit there. So he interrupted my combo. But yeah, that's, uh, again, I, I, I said it so many times. That is uh, her bread and butter combo. You just want to unload as much uh, shotgun shells as you can on the enemy. Nice. Alright. We'll do two so that we could uh, conserve, um, we could conserve some ammo. Rizona boo. And we'll do charge attacks again. One, two, one, two, three. There we go. All right. So I forgot to mention this um, for Shuyan, but um, in order to do the triple burst on her um, third uh, basic attack, you have to do two charge attacks. And that consumes two bullets. So in order to do the uh, full uh, basic combo, you want to do you want to have at least five bullets on hand. So yeah, uh, keep that in mind. Uh, dodge counter days, yes, I will take that. War days is good because the boss can be dazed, and um, and once she is dazed, we can just do a bunch of damage. All right, let's do uh, Razonia. We don't need health at this point because we can handle ourselves. Uh, lose 40 HP, sustain 2 corruptions. We're gonna do sustain 2 corruptions. Because there is a, uh... There is a corruption thing. 
right here. So you can't just get rid of it right away. Yeah, so let's just uh, remove it. There we go. That's one of them gone, and then we can remove it right here. There's another one right there. There's a cleanser. Alright, let's deposit our gear coins. Again, we don't need to spend that much. Because look at that. We already have pretty good Rizonia already. Look at that. We already got our maximum Rizonia for Ether. Alright. Um, let's leave. Okay, all we need now is Nicole to show up. Maybe if she shows up. Yes, the coal baby. All right, we're gonna be replacing Sokaku. All right, twenty percent more damage. Sokaku gave us that Rosonia buff. That is pretty nice, actually. Uh, ether, ether, anomaly build up. Let's just take that. There we go. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I trust your judgment. All right, let's see here. Gain one hundred pressure. Nope, I will not take that. No, thank you. Alright. Let's just get the rewards and get out of here. Alright, we can cleanse this. Let's go here. Nice. Alright. Um, we already are fully healed, so we can't just take the 500 gear coins. All right, floor three. This is it. The home stretch. Okay. Um, we can take Anvi, but Lycon is just way too good. So I am just gonna be uh taking. Yeah, I'm just gonna be taking Lycon, actually. Uh, let's just. Uh, let's do uh this. Let's do here. I'll just let Anvi be. Uh, a reinforcement. There we go. Alright. We're forced to take damage there. Nothing we can do about that. Uh, crit damage from behind. Defeat an enemy. Grants all squad members insight. We're taking this one. I trust your judgment. Yeah, we're forced to take that too. Which is unfortunate. But what can you do? <laughs> the conveyor melt doesn't want... Uh, doesn't, uh, like, put me in the middle. So I'm forced to be on top, which is uh, which is kind of bad. But um, the the negative side effects aren't really that bad, so we can take those. All right. Yeah, but this is this is going to be easy, especially since um my Nicole build is pretty good. She has a energy build. Which means that she's going to be getting energy really, really fast. And plus, says she's a support, free switch-ins! As you see there, pretty nice. Oh no, it's these things. Um, I'm gonna be doing Nicole to get a free uh, switch-in. Let's do EX. Oh, well, that just finished him off. I thought I was, had to actually do one charge attack, but I guess she's just way too broken for that. <laughs> okay. Uh, hitting an enemy from behind again. Uh, yes. We do a lot of perfect dodges here, so we'll take those. Uh, five energy for the agent. Yes. I trust your judgment. We need a lot of energy, especially for Shoyun, because she really does need it. Uh, we do have SOS, but we don't have Sokaku, so it means nothing to us. Uh, so I guess we just take the bottom route. There's really nothing for us to do besides take that. Alright, we're gonna be forced to battle here, which is fine. Again, we get a free Rizonia if we battle, so... Uh, I'm not complaining, really. Uh, it just means more showcasing of Shuiyun. Which is, uh, well, the point of this video, so, yeah. There we go! Shotgun Blast! That is, like, 9,000 damage. Oi! Alright. There we go. I think the second wave will be coming soon, yep. Let's do, uh... Let's do that. Get a free switch in. 
Yeah, look at that damage. Ooh, oh boy. And that's not, and that's with the enemy not stunned, by the way. That's like a casual, that's a casual 20k. A casual 20k. All right. All right, we dodged that. Let's do, uh, let's do that. Wait, oh, I accidentally switched. Uh, let's do this. There we go. Another switch in to, uh, Shuyun. There we go. Yeah, easy, easy work right there. All right, let's see what Rizonia we get. I think we got all the major good ones, though. Uh, yeah, sure. Dodge counter, increase uh, damage. Uh, shield. This increases days. Yes. All right. Oh, that was a negative effect. Uh, we will take a break on the. T actually, we can catalyze Rizonia. Actually. Um. How many Rizonia do we have? I don't think we have that many S rank ones. We only have two. Wait, do we even have a lot of S rank ones? I don't. I don't know if we do. I guess we do. We can't just take the risk and just go for it. But um, actually, actually I won't because we are close to the end. Uh, stun recovery, reduce attack. No. We're gonna have to go for damage here. Damage, damage, damage. All right. All right, we're at the final stretch. Um, we're gonna do no thanks because we already do have healing supplies. So, yeah, we'll just take those. This won't make me lose my mind. All right. Let's see what we get here. Gear coins. Uh, that gives us nothing. We can go here to heal ourselves. Oh, never mind. We got unlucky and we didn't heal ourselves. So I guess we just have to rely on this. Uh, yeah, heal. Next up ahead is going to be the boss anyway, so we can't just use this to heal ourselves. There we go. And then I guess we can just use the shop. Uh, yes, sir. We will take that. Free fusion. We love to see it. Uh, send for 10% longer stun. Yes, we're taking these. Might as well. These are just free at this point because we do have a ton of coins. All right. And then we can just catalyze. We'll catalyze a 1S rank. Uh, chain will increase decibels, dodge counter, uh, we'll do chain. Decibels is just way too good. It means that we'll get our ultimate faster. Alright. Now it's time to fight the boss. So, um, well, I hope you guys are ready to see a total massacre. Because we basically got all the Rizonia that we could ever ask for, um, for Shuiyun. So she's just gonna be popping off. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that <laughs> uh, once we do get into this fight. So um, if you guys haven't fought this boss before, uh, spoiler alert, um, by the way, if you guys have not uh, gotten to Withering Garden yet. But this boss is really annoying. Um, well, not annoying with uh, Ether Activity 0, but she is really annoying at Ether Activity... Um, I would say Ether Activity 9. Ether Activity 9 and above is when she starts popping off and becomes like an actual threat. Uh, so yeah, she is extremely annoying uh, when that happens. So um, the main strategy here is to, of course, get her to low, uh, to get her to uh, to her max days. So that is what we're going to be doing. We got the perfect dodge there, nice. There we go. Alright, she is pretty close to... There we go. Lycon! Into Nicole, into Rizonabu. Alright, now we do Shotgun Blast. One, two, one, two, three. Nicole, switch! One, two, one, two, three, burst! Bam! And then one, two, one, two, three. There you go. Um, that's the, your main combo route for her if if you do fight her in this mode. 
um, if you do fight like um, this boss in uh, Hollow Zero. So keep that in mind. All right. Oh well, I dodged incorrectly, but she does no damage when she does that. So it's it's fine, really. All right, now we just focus on uh, trying to defeat her as fast as we can. So yeah. All right, let's just get these uh, charge attacks in so we can get her daze meter up. All right, we are close to beating her, so hopefully we can just get it done. All right. Okay, she's at 85. I think I think this should do. All right, now we can switch. All right. Okay, never mind. I guess I calculated incorrectly, but I think this should do it here. Yeah, there we go. All right, Lycon, Nicole into Rizona Boo. All right, and we just finish it off right here. Just do everything we can to defeat her as fast as possible. And there we go. Nice. All right, that was pretty nice, actually. <laughs> we got what we wanted, which is pretty cool. Look at that. <laughs> so yeah, um, that is the uh, Hollow Zero run for uh, Shui Yun. She is able to pop off, as you see there. She's able to do a bunch of damage. Just, uh, I mean, all I gotta say is uh, shotgun for the win. So yeah. Well, anyways, uh. That is not enough to showcase her, actually, because well, if you watch the Ellen Showcase video, we're gonna have to do two more showcases, and that's with other bosses that uh, you are able to face in this game. So, uh, we're gonna be going to the uh, boss area um, in this uh, zone, and we're just gonna be fighting two more bosses. Alright, so here we are in Notorious Hunt with all the bosses here. So, um, I did say before that we are going to be fighting two bosses, so we're just going to be doing that. So, of course, I'm going to be choosing the bosses that are weak to certain types, of course, because we have to showcase her in her best possible, um, thing. I'm pretty sure, yeah, all these bosses are weak to ether, so I guess we can just showcase, um, one of the two. We're going to be showcasing these two, actually, because they are just big target enemies, and all the shotgun shells will hit them. So, that'll be pretty nice for the, uh, showcase. So... Uh, this is the team I used before. Um, I fought this thing. Uh, well, at least we can just use uh, the Ether team right here. Rizona Boo, of course, because it's the best Ether Boo in the game. Um, even though this team doesn't have a uh, three out of three synergy, um, it's still pretty nice because Lycon is still the best stunner in the game. He literally fits on any team, uh, like I said before. Um, I might make a. I don't know. I might make a tier list actually for this game um unlike the best characters for certain archetypes because all the characters are really really good in their own way so yeah um, as for Lycon best stunner in the game of course uh stun for 10% longer we'll take that because we are just using ether characters all right let's do this Ooh, that's a good dodge I didn't dodge that oh I, I was not able to dodge that though all right he's basically close to getting stunned so now we just do Nicole into Shuyun into Nicole and then get free bullets there and then we do the Shuyun sacred combo there we go <laughs> let's get her E off now she's able to get some bullets in good dodge right there all right we are basically halfway done um, with uh, Oh, he's doing the slam attack. Okay, you missed. Alright, now we do the coal. Okay, we didn't pop off the E, but that's fine. We can just pop it off here. Alright, sacred combo time! Bam, 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 bam. We'll do another E. I think that should finish him off. We don't have to use all our bullets there. Pretty cool. Alright. So now he's just going to be going to his next phase with the uh, double hands. This shouldn't be that bad. Alright, we can just go in now. Dodge. 
Okay, I didn't dodge that one though. Um, luckily his EX special has invincibility frames. I will gladly appreciate that. Like right here, see? Look at these invinc- I'm abusing those invincibility frames. Alright, Rizona Boo! Into Kablam! Alright, one, two, one, two, three, burst to get our stuff back. E. One, two, one, two, three, roll. One, two, three, E. One, two, one, two, three. Yeah. Uh, I, I really have nothing to say there except just damage. Because he's just done, he's cooked. And that is it for that boss, uh, Rip Dead End Butcher, because he just got, uh, well, blasted to death by the Shui Yun shotgun. So yeah. Well, there's one of the bosses. Um, it's time to showcase her uh, against another boss, and then I will close off the video with a overview and, uh, well, my final thoughts on Shui Yun. But if you probably already saw my opinion on this video, and if you've been watching for long enough, you, you probably know my opinion. But, well, without any dilly-dallying, let's just get to the second boss. Alright, here we are at the second boss who's also weak to ether. Honestly, I I'm pretty sure every boss is just weak to ether. At least until 1.1 comes out. Uh, which, um, by the time this video is uploaded, it it there probably is a 1.1 boss that isn't weak to ether. But who knows? Uh, I can't speculate yet because it hasn't been released uh, by the time I'm recording this video. So yeah. But anyways, we're rocking- we're gonna be rocking the same team again because this team is just way too good. And besides, I don't have Anby fully built, so I can't showcase her properly. Uh, but this is the team we're gonna be rocking with again. The Shuyun, Lycon, Nicole team. Alright, let's just get this over with and let's just defeat this boss really fast. <laughs> Shuyun has- has to pop off here. She has to pop off here. All right, let's do this again. Um, I'm pretty sure this boss, the, the whole boss's thing is you have to use electric damage. Yeah, as you see there, the other boss is weak to ice, and this one's weak to um, electric damage. I'm pretty sure the uh, the twins, the twin ballet sisters, are weak to ether, um, or like the Rizonia, um increases ether damage, which is uh, really really nice. All right, we got the perfect dodge in. We can't perfect dodge that though. We didn't get enough time for that. Alright, there we go. Lycon into uh, Kablam. That's pretty nice. Alright, then we do the sacred combo again. And I think that should be good enough to... To kill this thing. Yeah, there we go. Alright, we're gonna be doing E again to get her bullets back. Oh, okay, he wasn't near me, so um, I guess the chainsaw, I guess, didn't hit me that time. Oh, it hit me that time, though. We got invincibility frames, so we're able to avoid that drill. Pretty cool. Alright, there we go. We got the dodge for that one. We got the dodge for that one, too. Okay, I did the wrong, I did the wrong chain, but it really doesn't matter. I think we got her full bullet stacks. Yeah. So now we can do the sacred combo. There we go. Alright, we'll just get some more bullet stacks in. There we go. Alright, he's just gonna be swinging his tail so we'll just avoid that. Alright, there we go. Now we can go in. Alright. We got the dodge. Uh, we're gonna have to be careful here because he does do a lot of random attacks like that. All oh, right. Oh, I thought I was gonna, not gonna avoid that. All right. Yeah, uh, that missile attack is really hard to avoid, by the way, if you don't use um, like multiple uh, consecutive uh, perfect dodges. All right, there we go. Now we got Nicole off. All right. Now we do Nicole. Rizona Boo into Shuyun. We got impaired. Holy crap. Kablam! E! E! And then sacred combo again! And there we go! <laughs> Holy crap! She just, just does way too much damage for her own good. 
yeah, uh, there's really nothing for me to say there. All right, there we go. We defeated that thing really, really fast. Two minutes. It took us two minutes to beat that thing. And that's basically it for um, all the showcase stuff for Shuyan. So now it's time to go over the uh, overview of her and my final thoughts. Uh, well, without any uh, delay, let's just get to that. Here we have Officer 148 of Public Security, or uh, NEPS in this case, Shuyan. So, uh, well, there's really nothing much for me to say except that, uh, Shui Yun is busted. Uh, you already see it, um, like, for the past, like, 20 or 30 minutes of the video. But, yeah, uh, there's really nothing for me to say except that she's broken. But, anyways, we have to do the overview, so let's just do it. So, this is her core right here, which is, uh, really, really busted as crap. Because, uh, well, that means uh, she's just going to be doing even more damage. Uh, you'll see what I mean. So, her core passive literally just increases her damage when she's in suppressive mode. A.K.A. when you hold down the button. Right here. That's suppressive mode. When you hold down the button, she pulls out this thing, which is the shotgun. And she's able to do that amount of damage right there. At level, uh, of course, at level 7. 40% damage, which is pretty nice. Also, when you are attacking a stunned enemy... The damage gets increased by an additional 40%. And when she gets into the battlefield, she immediately gains 6. 6 bullets for free if uh, the enemy is uh, stunned and when she enters the battlefield. Busted as crap. I mean, you don't really need me to say anything else, right? I mean, she gets 80% 80% damage. 80% damage. If the enemy is stunned. As long as you are attacking in suppressive mode, which is all the time. So, yeah, that's just flat out broken. An 80% damage boost. Yeah, um... Really busted. Definitely one of the best ether characters in the game, if not the best ether character in the game. And also, one of the best DPSs in the game. No, no doubt about it. Her basic attacks are not really that, um... Uh, well... Not really that uh, special either. But we already did, basically did discuss about um, her basic attacks. Well, more specifically the suppressive mode. But her normal attack is okay. Because she can get um, one bullet on her fourth and fifth strike. So she gets two bullets um, if you do the full chain of uh, basic attacks. So if you do five attacks, you get two bullets back. Which is fine. Um, actually... She also has a uh, thing where if you're able to uh, move around when you press the attack button, she's able to uh, just move around for free and while just attacking, which is pretty nice. It means that she's able to avoid attacks um, and not be a sitting duck when she attacks, which is uh, pretty cool, to be honest. So yeah, you can move around and zip around like Ultra Instinct uh, if you do just do like normal attacks. In suppressive mode, she can do the same thing too. She's able to... Uh, Fire shotgun shells, of course. Um, in this case, the game calls it enhanced shot shells, but I just call it shotgun because it's literally, it's literally a shotgun. Okay, uh, don't judge me. But um, she does a shotgun shell blast every time you do a uh, basic normal attack. On on her third normal attack, they don't tell you this by the way, but on her third normal uh, suppressive mode attack, um, she consumes three shotgun shells. So for Basically, on your normal attack, you basically uh, consume five enhanced shot shells. So keep that in mind if you are going to be doing the full suppressive mode combo with the uh, three uh, basic attacks. So yeah. But um, while you're doing this, by the way, you can move around. I did. Uh, if you did uh, see in the uh, gameplay perspective of this um, showcase, you see that I was able to move forward when she does the uh, shotgun shell um, blast. You can move around left, right, backwards if you want to retreat, forwards if you want to um, basically go aggro. So yeah, she's able to move around a bunch. Again, she just goes Ultra Instinct and just dodges everything. Or you can use that to uh, pressure the enemy, which is pretty nice. Her dodge isn't really that special either. The only worthwhile thing that I was that I'm able to, I guess, point out is uh, the overwhelming firepower thing. So um, again, I, as I said before, you can move around the uh, you can move around the joystick, or you can just move around to basically uh, 
fire one shot while moving. This is the thing I'm talking about, her dash attack. So, um, remember when I said, uh, the one, two, one, two, three dot, or, like, the dash attack? So, uh, when you do your third basic, you can cancel that basic into a dash attack overwhelming firepower. So, basically, um, well, I guess I could just give you the map. So, it is basic, 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 um, you have to hold it down, by the way, into move in any direction basic into another basic. So yeah, so basically, your shotgun shells consumed, it'll be one, two, three, one, three. So that is your full uh, cartridge, basically. That's all nine. That's all nine of your, um, that's all nine of your shotgun shells. So yeah. Um, but you're gonna be using this a lot, definitely. This is one of her main, um, uses to, uh, cancel out of the, uh, triple basic attack. So, uh, yeah, you're gonna be using this a lot. But other than that, it's not really that special either. Um, her dodge counter, of course, uh, is pretty good too. Um, she gets one enhanced shotgun shells. The rest of these are okay, I guess. Um, you get a dodge. You get to do uh, ether damage if you do dodge, which is pretty nice. But her dodge counter is definitely a, a perfect thing. Really, really good. So, yeah. Um... Uh, there are ways to basically get enhanced shotgun shells um, to get her normal attacks. And this is one of them, um, which is Fire Blast. As I said before, um, if you do a perfect dodge and just attack, you just get one enhanced shotgun shell. Um, the reason why I'm saying this now is because we're going to be segueing to her assist, which also gives her shotgun shells. So yeah, um, if you do a uh, covering shot, you get one enhanced shotgun shell, which is pretty nice. Um, this happens if, um, if there's a support who uses a, a special, um, aka, uh, Sokaku, aka Nicole, uh, aka Lucy. As long as they're able to, uh, trigger quick assist, she's able to jump in to the, uh, the offense and gain one enhanced shotgun shell. Um, this is one of your main primary sources to get enhanced shotgun shells. So the whole point... Um, I forgot to mention this before. The whole point of Shoyun's kit is to get enhanced shotgun shells. Whether it be her normals, her dodge counter, her assist, her special, or her ultimate. Um, the whole point of her is to get shotgun shells so you're able to unload quickly on the enemy uh, with uh, basi basically ether firepower. So yeah. But a covering shot is a quick way to get your enhanced shotgun shells. This is just basic. This is just a block for um, assist. Just normal stuff. When you do a evasive assist, you can't just do a normal and then just get three enhanced shotgun shells. Assist follow-up, which is uh, pretty nice. Um, really, 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 really good. So yeah. Um, again, it's it, there are a lot of ways to get uh, shotgun shells. So yeah, um, quick assist is one of them. You can do uh, assist follow-up. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty good. So yeah, um, really nothing much to say except that her assists just give her a lot of uh, hand shotgun shells. So always, always do an assist follow up with her. Um, definitely if you, especially if you're just doing chains. Um, so yeah, assist follow up, really, 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 really good. You'll you'll be using this a lot, definitely. Next up is the uh, special attack Buckshot Blast, um, which is just uh, when you press E, you get to uh, do ether damage. But that's not the important skill. Um, this is just okay, I guess, if you don't have enhanced shotgun shells. This right here, her EX special, is where all the magic happens. So when you use your E, you're able to uh, do ether damage and get three enhanced shotgun shells, meaning that you're able to increase her normal attacks. Again, her whole kit is designed in a way where you're forced to use your enhanced shotgun shells to do a bunch of damage. And all of her kit just gives her shotgun shells, so you need these. Uh, so yeah, um, definitely a skill you're going to be using. If you do have full energy, you're able to use this twice, meaning that you're able to get six enhanced shotgun shells. So yeah, pretty good. And as for chain attack, um, pretty basic really. If she does a chain attack, she's able to get three enhanced shotgun shells for free. So, um, if you do have a chance to do chain attacks, be sure to, uh, put her in. Um, as for the ultimate, that also gives her three enhanced shotgun shells. So, if you do have ultimate, you can just press it and then just get it for free. So, yeah, it's 
She's it's just really good. Um, again, all of her kit is based around her charge attack. So uh, make sure you abuse your dodges to get dodge counters. Make sure to abuse your quick assists so you're able to um, basically attack. So yeah, it's pretty pretty good. Um, make sure, of course, to abuse your defensive counter as well, um, which is really 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 good. So yeah, um, her EX, of course, abuse that to get enhanced shotgun shells, and her ultimate and chains abuse those. So yeah. Um, as for my final thoughts on Shui Yun, uh, do I really need to say it? She's just She's just broken. She's just way too busted. Uh, shotgun shells up the wazoo. Um, she is kind of complicated to play if you don't know how to manage your shotgun shells properly. But if you do, and if you master what her shotgun shell intervals are, if you mastered how much shotgun shells she's able to get on chains, assists, uh, dodge counters, etc., and you're able to uh, manage her shotgun shells correctly, she becomes a complete and utter menace. Yeah. Um, even though she is kind of complicated to play, um, I'm sure you guys will master her soon enough. And if you do, well, you're going to be in for a treat, especially for those Shui Yun havers. So yeah, my final verdict on this character is that she's the best Aether DPS in the game, if not the best DPS in the game. Literally shares the same spot as Ellen for being the best DPS in the game. So yeah. And anyways, <laughs> that is the Shui Yun Showcase. If you do like this showcase video and if you want to support the channel, be sure to like and subscribe. It really means a lot um, if you do like and subscribe. Um, it really does support the channel. It helps me keep me motivated to making these videos. And again, um, I wouldn't be here without you guys. So if you do like and subscribe, thank you guys so much if you do. And, well, comment down below! What do you think of Shui Yun? And what do you think of this showcase video? You think it's cool? You think, um, I showed enough Shui Yun gameplay? You think I should have shown more? Um, as for Shui Yun, what do you think of her? You think she's cool? You think she's not? You think I'm over-exaggerating? Or you think my opinions are right? What do you think of Shui Yun if you, uh, don't agree? You think she's cool? You think she's, uh, broken? You think she's not? Again, all those questions let me know in the comments down below i will well i will be happy to uh well comment and uh talk about these things so yeah and as always thank you guys for watching this shui yun showcase video and i'll see you guys in the next zenless zone zero video